What's up Guiding Bolt fans? This is Nick and today we are going to talk knucklehead trout fishing. You can see I have a picture of Old Bitey there. This is a knucklehead trout that was caught on the Lake of Mer Dwaldon and it is currently mounted in the North Look Inn and Tavern in Bryn Shander. So this is a small video series that I've been doing on the Icewind Dale Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module. Uh, there's three mini games in that adventure. The other two of course are Chain Lightning and Goat Ball and I guess this one isn't as much of a mini game as the other two but we're gonna we're gonna go over how to turn it into a mini game uh, today. So I just wanted to read the rules real quick for fishing uh, for knucklehead trout, give you a quick example, and then tell you what I have done to turn this into a mini game. So let's go ahead and pop over to page 11 of the module. I'm gonna show you this cool picture real quick. Doesn't that look fun? It's freezing their butts off on the ice. <laughs> so. For what, what I'm going to do with my PCs is this is going to actually be, I'm, I don't want to have them do an ice fishing because uh, it, it's a little harder to believe them getting pulled into the water through a uh, ice fishing hole. So I'm going to say that my PCs are going to be fishing from boats. Um, well, anyways, let's go ahead and get over to the rules here. So again, this is on page 11. Let's just read through this real quick. So to fish for knucklehead trout on the lakes of Icewind Dale, now there's three main lakes, that's the Redwaters, uh, Lac Dinashir and the one I already mentioned, which is Mare Dwaldon. A character needs fishing tackle and a rowboat. The former cost four gold pieces, while the latter can be bought for 50 gold pieces or rented for two gold pieces a day. So if, if you're just starting this campaign, this would be a good way to have your PCs be able to make some uh, make some money early on. They only All they got to do is scrounge together four, four gold pieces for the tackle and then another two to rent a rowboat. So there is, uh, it's something that they can get, you can get them out and doing right, kind of right away. Uh, a character can fish on the ice instead of boat. Like I said, we're going to do a boat. Uh, in which case, a saw or similar tool is needed to cut a hole through the ice. At the end of each hour spent fishing on the lake, a character makes a DC 15 wisdom survival check. A failed check indicates that no fish is caught during that hour. If the check succeeds, the character hooks a knucklehead trout and must make a, this will be a little bit harder to see in the video, a strength athletics check contested by the fish's strength check to pull it out of the water. So we're going to essentially have a strength contest once the player actually hooks a knucklehead trout. Now this is where it gets interesting. The trout has advantage on this check. If the character fails the check, the trout escapes. If, er, and a character who fails the check by five or more must then succeed a DC 10 deck save uh, throw or be pulled into the frigid water. And there's some rules on what happens if they get pulled into the water. A character who was pulled, pulled out of the water is dripping wet and continues to suffer the effects of frigid water until the wet clothes are taken off and replaced with dry ones. So, um, you can imagine starting out at low level, they're going to probably have uh, not the best strength modifier. And with the knucklehead trout rolling an advantage, there's a good chance that they're going to spend a lot of hours out there fishing and either not getting anything or potentially getting pulled into the water. So it can make for a really fun and memorable session uh, incorporating knucklehead fishing into your campaign. So let's just run through a quick example here real quick. You can see that I have a uh, mini setup on a sitting in their rowboat. Uh, and then we have a knucklehead trout miniature here just for a little added visual effects. This is, uh, if you're interested in the knucklehead trout miniature, this is obviously out of the Rime of the Frost Maiden miniature set. And then this cutout here, these are out of the uh, dungeon craft um, dungeon tiles. And I've done, uh, I've done reviews on both their initial one, I think it's the 1985 games, just dungeon craft, and then the Hell and High Water one, which is where these two cutout pieces are from. So, uh, after an hour of fishing, you go ahead and first off, just go ahead and make a survival check or wisdom check. And I'm not even going to look at the modifier because Tilly rolled a 19, so that's a good check. So, that's who uh, Tilly is, uh, who we're using in this example. So, Tilly has hooked a knucklehead trout. So, once it has been hooked, now what we have to do is make a, do a strength challenge between Tilly and the knucklehead trout. And to do that, what you're going to do is roll your d20 for Tilly first. Uh, you can see here, just popping in the character sheet, Tilly has 18 strength, so the modifier is plus four. 
So I'll go ahead and roll this, and that is not good. <laughs> that is a two. Uh, Tilly's probably going to be taking a bath here. Uh, two plus four is six. Now remember, this is a strength contest, so there isn't a set DC here. Basically what we're going to do is roll for advantage for the knucklehead trout, and if Tilly fills that check by five or more, which honestly with a six there's a good chance she's going to, she's going to get pulled into the water. So let's go ahead and roll these, and oh yeah. <laughs> so with advantage, uh, the knucklehead trout has got a 19, and Tilly has, the knucklehead trout, uh, by the way, if you're interested, it has 14 strength, its modifier is plus 2, so it actually actually got a 21. Uh, if you have the module, it's on page 295, I'm not going to pull it up for the video, but go ahead and check it out, it's on page 295 is where you can find the stat block for the knucklehead trout. So, um... This thing is basically it. She hooked herself a marlin. The boat's rocking, um, probably water splashing in, and it is. She almost gets pulled overboard. She's about to go overboard. So now we have to do a DC 10 dexterity save throw to see if she can actually stay on in the boat and not get pulled over. So this is a uh, dexterity. This is the saving throw section. You can see that dexterity. She doesn't have advantage on that, or not proficient with it, rather. So she's going to get a plus three to this roll. And unfortunately, she rolled a fifteen, so she stays in the boat. She's not taking a swim this time. So that's just one example. Uh, I'm not going to go over many examples here. I mean, you get the idea. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Pretty simple rules and just a bunch of checks, but you can see where this can get pretty fun pretty quick. Now, what I would do to turn this into a contest is using all the same rules that we just went over. I'm just adding one little twist to it. And what I would do is if it's, uh, let's say that this is a fishing contest and there's some sort of either cash prize or maybe just a supplies prize at the end of it. Um, there's going to be probably a lot of people interested in doing this, both from your players and MPC perspective. So what I would do is I would just take a percentile dice and then as your PCs are, you know, trying to hook fish, anytime somebody hooks one, just go ahead and roll the percentile dice and that's going to be basically, you know, how much, how big was the fish, how much did it weigh, or you can just have it, you can just have it kind of be like a points tally and whoever has the most points or the highest on a single roll wins the contest. And I would just go through and I would roll, if you're having NPCs participate, I would roll them all out ahead of time. Let's just go ahead and see, let's imagine that she had actually hooked this and pulled it into the boat, see how big it would have been. So this is probably a knucklehead trout that's on the smaller side, uh, it's a 37 on the roll. So I would just have Tilly keep track of that and then depending on how many hours it lasts every hour they make the check you know see if they pull one in roll your percentile dice see how big it is and it's that simple to turn it into a contest slash mini game so uh, this is going to be like i said a short video i think we'll go ahead and end it there if you have any questions go ahead and put it down below make sure to like and subscribe we put out weekly content so if you want to stay up on what we're doing uh, just go ahead and smash that subscribe button as always thank you all for uh for watching um and commenting and everything that you guys do we really do appreciate it so until until next time uh keep rolling those dice